Twin Peaks restaurant chain. Their tagline is Eats, Drinks, Scenic Views. It's a growing franchise. And it's part of a recent boom of businesses attracting diners who are hungry for a meal and an ample supply of scantily clad women. So tonight, amidst a sea of struggling restaurateurs, a new breed of sexed up eateries is taking the food service industry by storm. ABC's Alex Perez gets an eyeful. It's on. The restaurants are officially at war. As many food franchises are fighting to stay afloat, it's a post-recession boom for these establishments. Restaurants with added sex appeal. More than a billion dollar industry, expanding mainly because they're dishing out quite a bit more. And there's Twin Peaks, where they serve appetites and egos. The rustic-themed eatery is chipping away at the trademark owl franchise. We're looking for a well-rounded female who can deliver a great experience for our guests. Places like Twin Peaks, The Tilted Kilt, Cans, and many more like them are in a heated fight to knock the reigning king Hooters off its throne. During the height of the recession, Hooters led the pack, bringing in almost a billion dollars a year. Now, with the competition catching on to the winning formula, Hooters sales declined by nearly 3.5% last year. Hooters should be very scared. The category can only grow so much, and Tilted Kilt, if you will, and, and the others are stealing uh, Hooters customers. It has probably grown a little bit stale, so if these other restaurants are able to attract more people because they've got a little bit of a twist, whether it's a girl in a kilt or, you know, all the crazy things that are happening out there, I think people are, you know, intrigued and they're going to start going in that direction. Twin Peaks, which had just seven locations in 2008, now has 31 across the country, and they plan to open two more a month through the end of the year. So many people in the recession were closing down their restaurants. Yes, and we got their real estate. 22-year-old Stephanie Dukes travels the country training Twin Peaks girls to have that natural charm. Do you think they're coming in here to eat the food or are they coming here to stare at you? Both, because all the food's made from scratch, so it's delicious. Cold beer, 29 degree beer, and hot girls, like what else could you want? The company says its main attractions keep customers coming in. Big, cold mugs of beer and ample portions. Also competing, Cans, a New York-based roadhouse-themed sports bar that did what many would consider the impossible, successfully launch in the middle of the recession. And three restaurants later, the formula is working. Sports, beer, and of course, lots of young ladies. I think being a, a restaurant goes hand in hand with being a great sports bar. There was a void in the marketplace that everybody knew about. Welcome to the Tilted Kilt. Tilted Kilt wants a piece of that market too. The Arizona-based restaurant has nearly 80 locations nationwide and 12 more on the way. And the appeal for many is in the price. The average restaurant meal costs 12 bucks, and the average check is about $19 a person. Hooters, with over 400 restaurants, dwarfs the competition, but is clearly sagging. They've closed 35 locations in the last three years. Former customers who used to give a hoot say the eye-popping staples that brought them in suddenly went flat. Everything is just done a little bit extra better. Hooters is fighting back, now pumping up all their locations, new sleek decor, expanded healthier menus, and with an additional target in mind, women. A group the competition is also wooing. Some even have kids' menus. Ice cream? I think that here is more of a family restaurant. I serve a lot of families. I have a regular that's a five-year-old little boy, and we have a lot more fun and we're more comfortable. It, it, it's not as like cliche to like feel like it's just a guy's place anymore. I feel like anyone can come here. Hooters didn't want to talk on camera, but in a statement says the restaurant model that others have dubbed restaurants is a moniker too shallow to define Hooters. But shallow or not, these other restaurants have no qualms embracing the term. When you hear that word, what do you think? Restaurant. Why not? <laughs> But whether it's cans, kilts, or peaks, all say without mouth-watering plates, the appetizing scenes don't matter.
We have amazing food. We have a corporate chef that, that trains all the trainers very well, and we take a lot of pride in the quality of food that we put out. Restaurant experts aren't biting. It's not about the wings, it's about the breasts. Welcome, enjoy. No place can serve sludge. People are not going there no matter how good the wings are. With this restaurant battle far from over, expect to see these chains puffing up their chest, elbowing to get into that top spot for a long time to come. For Nightline, I'm Alex Perez in Chicago.